Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. the beach. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, it sounds wonderful, but I have to work. Yes, on a Saturday, yes. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not fair comparing Mr. Mooney to Simon Legree. <laughs> no, no, I'm not defending Mr. Mooney. I'm defending Simon Legree. <laughs> no, I can't sneak away because Mr. Mooney's working right here with me. Yeah, he just went out to get me a sandwich. Take him to the beach with us. Are you kidding? All he thinks about is work, 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 not having any fun. Of course, it might be very nice taking him to the beach and burying him in the sand head first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear the old slave driver coming. Bye. You needn't listen at the door, Mr. Mooney. Come on in. I'm working. I was not listening at the door. And how come you heard what I said? <laughs> Here's your sandwich. Thank you. That will be 35 cents. Uh, well... Maybe I can put it on my expense account. Thank you, Mr. Mooney. Don't, don't, don't start eating it yet. There's 20 minutes before lunchtime. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, now, I have another letter I want you to take down. It's very important. But I haven't even finished these yet. Well, just yet. forget that. Forget that for the moment. Now, this is to Jones, Jones, and Becker. Dear sirs, in regard to that contract you referred to in your letter of the oh. fourth... What's, what's the matter? Writer's cramp. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, now, if you'd like to rest, Mrs. Carmichael, we can take a two-minute break. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really don't see why we have to work on a Saturday. We have to work on Saturday because of all the time you wasted on Friday. What do you mean, wasted? A secretary is entitled to a lunch hour, isn't she? From 11 a.m. to 3 p.m.? <laughs> oh, all right, so I took a long lunch hour. It was only because I missed the morning coffee break. That was because you got to work so late, the coffee break was over. <laughs> no, that's not true, Mr. Oh, yes, Mooney. Oh, yes, You're no, just always late. You, you know you... you that that's you true. Can... Mrs. Carmichael, I don't want to get angry with you because I do appreciate the fact that you agreed to let me come over here and work in your apartment today. Oh, that's all right. Hmm. I just... I still can't understand why they don't give you a key to the bank. They won't even give me a key to the washroom. <laughs> Not that. No, I don't know. Excuse me. Oh, good morning, Joe. Good morning. Five cents due on this one. Oh, okay, okay. It must be a letter from my son, Jimmy. How can you tell? Well, he writes to me all the time from school, but he won't spend any of his allowance on stamps. <laughs> there you are. Thanks a lot, Joe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's from my son, Jimmy, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dear Mom, our school has a new rule where we have to write at least one letter home every week. This is it. <laughs> Yours truly, your son, Jimmy Carmichael. P.S. If you don't get this letter, let me know so I can write another one. <laughs> Isn't that adorable, Mr. Mooney? It's adorable, but it's not worth a nickel. <laughs> Well, shall we get back to work now? Yes, sir. As soon as I read this other letter, my goodness, this looks official. Oh. It's from the United States government. Oh. Oh, no! This is unbelievable! They want you to pay more income tax. No, worse than that. Nothing can be worse than paying more income tax. <laughs> yes, it can. I've been drafted. 
Sebastian. You've been what? Sebastian. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let me see that. There must be a mistake. We oh, well, of course. Now, this isn't addressed to Lucy Carmichael. It's addressed to Lou C. Carmichael. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Had me worried for a second. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. What are you doing? <laughs> Throwing it away. You can't throw away a letter from the United States government. Well, for heaven's sake, it's an obvious mistake. Well, I realize that, but you can't just ignore it. Now, we'll have to go down to the induction center and get this straightened out right away. Oh, no. This is ridiculous, drafting a woman. Well, I agree with you. It's silly. It's silly. But we can't ignore this. Now, we have got to go down and straighten it out. When they find out that you're a woman, I'm sure it'll all be settled. Well, I hope so. Do you think I'm going to have to go through a lot of red tape? And Well, I know something about military matters. I'll go along with you. Oh, well, thank you very yeah. much. Now, you come me. along now, right away. Hurry up. Yeah, Gosh, imagine a thing like that. Yes. Imagine putting me in the army. Don't worry. You'll never pass the physical. <laughs> Understand. Uh, please, miss, let your father talk for himself. <laughs> I am not her father. Now, about this induction notice. Mister, drafting you is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. You think that's ridiculous? Wait till you hear this. What? I'm the one that's being drafted. Now, let me see that notice. Now, see, it's addressed to Lou C. Carmichael. But I'm not Lucy Carmichael. I'm Lucy Carmichael. Yes, I'm you... a girl. Yeah, when you came in, I noticed you were rounder than most of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, me, let me check my records. Batten, Barton, Brown, Burns, Camp... Oh, here we are. Carmichael. Lucy Carmichael. Now then, Lieutenant, I suggest that you get in touch with your superior officers and meet them with... Just a second, this... buddy. Oh. Don't come in here and start giving me orders. That's the trouble with you civilians. You think you know everything. I want you to understand, sir, that I was an officer during the last war. Really? On which side? I <laughs> mean, sir, look, this is my uh, boss, Mr. Theodore J. Mooney, and he just came down here to help me straighten this out. Well, you could have straightened it out yourself. It's obviously a mistake. Oh, well, good then. We can go. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Halt! <laughs> Come on, face! Now, there's no doubt that this is a mistake. Well, then why can't I leave? Because my orders call for a Lou C. Carmichael to be inducted. <laughs> Unless those orders are changed by someone higher up, Lou C. Carmichael is going to be inducted. I'm not Lou C. I'm Lucy. You said yourself it was a mistake. I know, but I haven't got the authority to change it. This is the Army. We go by rules and regulations. And unless my orders are changed, you are in the army. This is all a terrible mistake. Oh, what's so terrible about it? Why not look at the bright side? What bright side? Well, you're bound to be the most popular soldier in your barracks. <laughs> okay, son, you pass the physical. Finish dressing and report to room 203. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Next. <laughs> Name? Uh, look, sir, this thing is a whole... Name! Uh, this is a, I'm trying to tell you, this thing is a mistake. Name! Uh, Carmichael. Strip to your shorts, Carmichael. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> what some guys won't do to stay out of the arm. <laughs> I am not a guy, I'm a girl. My name is Lucy, L-U-C-Y. I got an induction notice that was supposed to be for a man named Lou C. Lou period, C period. 
This whole thing is a silly mistake. Well, of course it's a mistake. Oh, well, good. Then can I go? Well, I'm afraid I can't let you go now because, well, because I... Because uh... you haven't got the authority. Uh, that's right. And because there are rules and regulations. Uh, that's right. And you have to follow orders. Uh, and because you have to take it to someone higher up. And that may take weeks. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do until then, Doctor? Till then, you're in the army. <laughs> in the army. I don't want to be in the army. All right, now... That's uh, not fair. I no, don't want to uh, be in the army. Calm down, calm down. The army never hurt anybody. It'll do you a lot of good. It'll make a man out of you. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is we'll rectify this mistake just as soon as possible. I'll get your complete file here. We'll wire all the facts to the Pentagon in Washington, and they'll straighten it out in no time. Let's see. Carmichael... Carmichael, Carm... Ah, here we... Here we are, Carmichael. Lucy... C Wait a minute. You are definitely not supposed to be in the Army. Of course not. You're in the Marine. <laughs> I think they used a lawnmower on me. <laughs> what are you bawling about, Mac? My hair. They cut off my hair. So what? They cut mine, too, and mine was longer than yours. <laughs> You guys, put your hats on and pull in! <laughs> Count off! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay, who's the wise guy with a phony voice? <laughs> it's me, and I'm not a guy, I'm a girl. A girl? I told you the Marine Corps is better than the Army. <laughs> okay, knock it off. What you doing here? No, well, I'm here because of a mistake. It better be a mistake. Yes. What happened? Well, I was working with my boss one, you know, Saturday morning in my apartment, and that's because I missed my coffee break, and, well, we had to work. And anyway, I got this draft notice, and it was for a, a Lucy Carmichael, and my name is Lucy Carmichael, and I'm a girl. And Lucy Carmichael is a man, I guess. Unless maybe Lou is short for Louise. In that case, boy, there's really been a mistake made because... Ben, get it, Paul in! But I don't belong here, sir. Please let me go home. Look, I can't even let me go home. <laughs> but it's all a big mistake. I can see that, but I gotta follow regulations. Take your case up with the lieutenant. He'll take it up with the captain. He'll take it up with the major. He'll take it up with the general. And he'll take it up with the Pentagon. Uh, and what happens then? I don't know. I never get past the lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sergeant, But look. until we hear from the Pentagon, you're going to be treated like every other guy in this outfit. <laughs> a regulation is a regulation. I got orders to make Marines out of you, Boots. And that's what I'm going to do. Fall in! <laughs> We're gonna start with the manual of arms. <laughs> Carmichael, why didn't you get a rifle? Because I think it's silly for me to go through all this physical training. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now you did. Now you did. <laughs> You ruined my manicure. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm putting on my gloves. I paid two dollars for that manicure, plus a 50 cent tip. Yellow gloves are not regulation. Well, neither am I regulation. Okay, okay, just get back in line. There's no need to yell. <laughs> your best friend. You take care of it, it will take care of you. And remember, a dirty rifle is a no-good rifle. So the first thing to do is to make sure your rifle is safe 
and clean. So, check your rifle. <laughs> Carmichael, pick up that rifle. I don't want to. <laughs> I said pick up that rifle. I will pick up that rifle when I get good and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Sergeant Pierce, front and center, please. Now listen. The sergeant's going to go through the basic moves of the manual of arms while I call off the orders. And he's only going to do it once. So you better be sure you watch close, because I expect you guys to do it perfect. All right, Sergeant. He's it. One more time. <laughs> that was it, Carmichael. Thank you, Sergeant. Well, I certainly didn't get very much out of that snappy little drill, did you? <laughs> Were you able to get that that fast, for heaven's sake? Attention! Breathe it. Hey! Hold it. Hey! Right shoulder. service, we'll run out of purple hearts in a week. <laughs> Polly! Terribly sorry. All right, now. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, what, what's the last thing we did? I hit him in the head, and then I hit him in the stomach. <laughs> I don't mean that. Where were we in the manual of arms? Oh, right shoulder arm, sir. That's right. All right, right shoulder. Hey! Left shoulder. supposed to be teaching these men the manual of arms, not square dancing. <laughs>